Tesla have revealed their new Pixel Matrix LED headlights. They're actually adaptive headlights that the Tesla Model 3 Highland or the Model 3 Plus now has. Big improvement. Here's how they actually work. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. Tesla revealed their new and updated adaptive headlights on the Model 3 Highland, and they work actually really, really well. Earlier this month, Tesla rolled out adaptive headlights on the Model 3 Highland or the Model 3 Plus in the United States and in Europe. So that means, yeah, basically now all Model 3s get the new adaptive headlights. The only difference about whether or not your Model 3 gets it is whether or not your country allows it to be turned on. That's the only difference. All Model 3s have this feature built in. So if you're not getting it, you gotta blame your regulations in your country, which in some countries are just a bit mystifying, to be fair. The new headlights focus on reducing glare and increasing visibility. So what they're trying to do, right, is they're trying to improve your ability to see, which they do quite well, apparently, from what I've heard from drivers who have used it. But at the same time, they try to reduce glare for other drivers and make it so that they're not feeling like they're being blinded which is, can, can be a problem. Now, there are a few other cars. Tonight, I drove to the gym, I drove home, and I did see a couple of cars. One of them just felt like it was blinding me, and these kind of so-called new headlights, which don't work that well, they just blind other drivers. Tesla's release notes for the adaptive headlights say this. The high beam now adjusts to reduce glare for other drivers and cyclists by detecting other road users and selectively dimming individual pixels of the headlights. The high beam can remain on longer, enabling better visibility at night. So it doesn't sound revolutionary, does it? I mean, I had a BMW X5 that it was a 2011 model, I believe it was, that had these headlights, but I couldn't turn it on. I mean, I tried, I tried lots of times, probably a hundred, but didn't work well. It would uh, set itself off, it would turn itself off if you drove past like a, a sign, a speed sign. Um, it often wouldn't turn off when other cars would drive past, so it would be blinding other people with my high beams on. Didn't work that well. Apparently, from what I can see here from this video, it does work pretty well. Now, it looks in the video like the the high beams are staying on, but that's not actually the case. They do turn off when you see other, other cars, but they just dim slightly and they sort of aim in a different direction. The new adaptive headlights were included with software update 2024.2, and they were rolled out to Tesla Model 3 Highland builds after European regulators approved the technology for use on their roads. So this is different technology. European regulators had to approve this newer version of these adaptive headlights. So this video here was actually shared, it was shared on Reddit by you Objective Scratch. So you Objective Scratch, thank you for sharing this video. And you can see the entire headline is illuminated while there are no other vehicles in the line. Um, so basically, it, you've got to have a free line of sight in front of the car and then it, they actually shine a brighter vision and they can actually do things that high beams can't do normally. They can actually kind of point the light straight in front, which apparently doesn't affect other drivers. As a tractor trailer traveling in the opposite direction moves closer, there are a few pixels that are no longer lighting up the road to the left. This increases visibility for the Tesla driver and the driver of the semi as well. These features will eventually be included in other vehicles in Tesla's lineup. I mean, it's only a matter of time before all Tesla vehicles, including the Tesla Model Y, have this technology. It's probably pretty likely, in fact, Tesla will put this technology in the new Model 2 variants as well. Model Y, though, doesn't have it yet. It could soon. I mean, Model Y does now have hardware 4, so it probably won't be that long until we see this technology coming out to the Model Y. Thanks for watching, guys. What are your thoughts? Let me know. Bye-bye.